Shalom. <coughs> My name is Yeshua Yaakov. This uh, video is being made from Jerusalem. Okay. Um, let's see. First and foremost, uh, this is uh, the candidates at Google uh, with the interview by the chief executive, uh, Eric, uh, with Barack Obama. Senator Obama talks about what will he do as president. And uh, there was a tremendous emphasis on uh, on policy in relation to uh, science and technology, and emphasis on education. Let me go from the generalities to the specific, and let's let's view this kind of as a trailer. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Yoshua Yaakov, uh, and uh, I live in Jerusalem for the past 22 years. I'm an American scientist, a didactic scientist, fancy word for self-educated, self-trained. Uh, having said that, uh, kind of a the, with a Thomas Paine bent of mind. Uh, having said that, um, I am the author of the trilogy Humanomics. And what is the trilogy Humanomics? It is the new East-West convergence model, uh, the deliverables, the specifics of what has to be done to realize the American dream and to more equitably share and make uh, government transparent and use technology. Uh, specifically, uh, humanomics is the new East-West convergence model. And why convergence? Because the local reality uh, has collapsed. Uh, man and mankind's exile has ended. And the proof of that is the collapse of the local reality, the uh, anthropologic, psychologic, uh, sociologic uh, manifestation of mind, giving to receive, I give, I get. That was the model uh, for, uh, for, for centuries and uh, it's collapsed. It will not be coming back, folks. And the new uh, framework, is, is the, the, both systems, East and West, uh, converge. They've collapsed with the local collapse of local reality, and they're converging to the middle. And the middle uh, uh, provides the, the post-East-West convergence model, which is humanomics. Its central organizing principle is the new cognitive behavioral science paradigm, receiving to give. Uh, receiving what? Receiving the authentic you to give the authentic you to who? To you. To your spouse, to your children, your family, your community, your nation, to the world. That's the central organizing principle of receiving to give. And its second uh, first principle is, uh, is the new economic paradigm, the integration of labor, which replaces the division of labor. As President Obama, uh, after a campaign uh, where the DNC, the Democratic National um, Convention, tables in its uh, platform committee, the new economic paradigm is the central organizing principle of the campaign. That campaign for president, uh, the candidate uh, for president for the presidency, Mr. O Senator, the Senator Obama, is going to promise the American people to develop, implement, and acculturate the new economic paradigm. And how is that done? Uh, on day one, President Obama will seek uh, a mandate from the U.S. Congress to develop, implement, and acculturate uh, the new economic paradigm. Uh, based upon the building of a world-class global technologic infrastructure that will devolve to become Internet 3. Uh, what's the, uh, the complexity of this model is, <laughs> let me put it in perspective, um, you know, Barak said in this interview, you know, we want to be sure that the next uh, Google, uh, you know, is, uh, is built and developed in America. I left America because of the problems that uh, Senator Obama uh, described in, uh, in Washington and, uh, and in the in various places in America. And so I decided to come up to Jerusalem and serve the God of the cosmos uh, to far better effect than uh, uh, America and the American people, which was my, my dream from the time I was a, a boy. Uh, and having said that, um, uh, we see the, uh, the very great need uh, for the, all of the changes that he's talking about. 
Now, in particular, the new economic paradigm uh, could easily uh, produce, uh, I own a company called Macrotech, if I were to go to the institutions and uh, talk to a few atheists uh, like Warren Buffett, some of you others, I'm making a joke, don't take me serious uh, on that, uh, you know, uh, secular humanism, uh, you know, in, the, in, the, in a lot of the circles in America is... Uh, is uh, is seen to be and believed to be uh, you know when you climb the ladder of secular humanism uh, uh, the last the last rung before you fall off in your head is atheism uh, but okay let's not get into that that's the uh, the politics of uh, intellectuals and uh, who needs that okay so uh, the bottom line is he will seek as president and get a mandate to build develop, implement, and acculturate the new economic paradigm model as world-class global technology. It'll cost, let's see, it'll require a supply side, uh, major projects far larger than the uh, Hoover Dam, something in uh, four to five trillion of investment amortized over 20 years. Here's the good news, folks. 60% of that investment is going to come from the G9, 40% from America, it'll be amortized over 20 years. So what are we going to get out of this? Well, we're going to retool, re-educate, retrain uh, the entire workforce of America. And this will take uh, uh, two decades. Um, by the end of the first year, this project will be employing domestic content, uh, uh, sustainable jobs, uh, uh, domestic content, sustainable jobs of tens of thousands a month until we reach in years 10 and 11, full employment. And I don't mean 4%, which economists consider full employment. I'm talking about zero, zero, zero. Anybody who wants a job is going to get it. And if they're not ready and prepared, they will get a slot where they are trained and educated and they'll enter into the workforce. Okay. So we're talking about zero, zero, zero full employment. It'll take us from 14 trillion to 45 to 50 trillion with one slight difference, folks. It'll eliminate, oh, by the way, significantly will eliminate the national debt. The national debt will be paid down in the out years somewhere between 16 and 20, depending upon the uh, accelerated uh, rates. And massive surpluses will be, 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 be being generated at that time frame. It'll triple uh, in the uh, full life of the project, the uh, uh, purchasing power of the dollar, which will have doubled after years 10 and 11. Uh, it will eliminate the Social Security deficit. It will provide for national health insurance free for every American cradle grave. So uh, it will eliminate the trade deficit and it will uh, allow for a doubling and a tripling by a doubling by years 14, uh, the 11, uh, the, sorry, in the econometric model, uh, 11 and 12, and a tripling of foreign aid. Uh, to the LDCs uh, by years 15 and 16. Now, having said that, it's a win-win situation. So this is the trailer. This is the, this is the, so what is this based on? This is over the horizon. This is vision, but it derives from international content. The Humanomics Trilogy is based upon uh, two first principles, the new cognitive behavioral science first principle, receiving to give, and the new economic paradigm, the integration of labor. Uh, that identifies information in its special model with its four enabling technology submodels as the new agent of trend. This is world-class science. This is not uh, hyperbole. This is not political promise. This is the real thing. So this is what the President of the United States, Barack Obama, will be delivering from year one. And so let this video be sort of a trailer to his, uh, his general articulation under the interview of candidates at Google, Barack Obama, etc. Uh, let this be uh, the let this be the beef, okay? Uh, this is these are the deliverables. So, uh, and who am I? I'm Yoshua Yaakov. I'm the author of Humanomics and its two paradigms. I endorse this message, and I also endorse Barack Obama. I'm not looking for any jobs at Google, and uh, I think Warren and a few others. I won't, let's not drop names let's for, let's let's leave out the names but the estimated uh, the portfolio of intellectual property world class science and technology intellectual property that macrotech which i own uh, owns is estimated to be uh, in the uh, in the 100 billion to 200 billion range um, we don't need another warren buffett or a bill gates we need uh, something different and so there'll be some very pleasant surprises in terms of a public trust that will vest uh, this with the american workers and we're going to get the the 80 
20 um, uh, 70 30 split between Wall Street and Main Street corrected and uh, thank you for listening I'm Shuiako from Jerusalem and this is Barack Obama's trailer